New at 11, one Oregon county is declaring a state Rick of emergency over water. illegal marijuana grows. Jackson County says there are so many unlicensed growers, they need help from the feds in cracking down. It comes as state agencies just wrapped up a massive operation to inspect some farms. KGW's Alma McCarty found out more about why they're cracking down, Alma. Well, a bill passed and signed by the governor this summer allowed the Oregon Department of Agriculture and the Oregon Liquor and Cannabis Commission to see whether registered hemp farms were actually growing marijuana. It turns out many of them were. The key difference here is the amount of THC, the compound that makes people high. In a state where recreational marijuana is legal, growing cannabis can still be illegal if farms don't go through the proper licensing channels. Take, for instance, the big bust in Washington County late last month. 800 pounds of dried marijuana and 5,700 plants seized. An estimated value of $6.5 million, according to deputies. Operation Table Rock was a different kind of effort, taking place in two counties, Jackson and Josephine in Southern Oregon. Brian Haley with the OLCC says alongside the ODA, inspectors looked at more than 300 registered hemp grow sites. Are people actually growing hemp versus marijuana? marijuana. We had people saying that they were growing hemp where the hemp tested at 34% THC, where it's supposed to test at 0.3%. The OLCC reports test results from 212 sites show 58% of the samples tested positive for THC. Haley says the problems go beyond the plants. We saw people sleeping in hoop houses. Uh, we saw people sleeping on farms. We saw, um, you know, uh, livestock issues. Um, and environmental degradation. I mean, some stream beds and uh, river, not rivers, uh, tributaries have been drained. Given the number of issues Operation Table Rock uncovered in just two counties surrounding illegal grows, Haley said the OLCC's operations will likely expand. We have to take a look at this holistically and say, what are we doing? You know, how are we going to do this better as a state? How are we going to keep bad actors out that are taking advantage of our beautiful state? and not paying back into the system that we all agreed to. So it's, it's a large problem um, and it needs to be addressed and needs to be thought through so that people can continue to run honest, good businesses that provide a quality, clean crop. Haley tells me the illegal grows are sending products out of state but couldn't specify to where at this time. The OLCC and Department of Agriculture are still reviewing the results collected from this operation.